start this company together with Dan 25 years ago this year, as you heard. And uh, with me, uh, virtually from, from Sweden, we have our CTO, Sven Sank. You want to say hello? So let's try this again. We have uh, Vincent with us now, so if you want to say hi to the, the audience quickly, Vincent. Okay. So Vincent is our CTO, uh, and uh, what we are going to do, I can get back to the right presentation here. Maybe I need your help, John, actually. It's not my computer. I'm calling them right now. Everybody sounds good. Try this again. Everyone got some coffee, so that's great. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm Max Johansson, president of Beyond Reality, and uh, with me uh, on the next segment here is Vin Sang Tree, our CTO from Sweden. And I'm going to start a little bit to talk about kind of the, the future of learning using this XR and AI technology. And now you've seen uh, some. Uh, videos that Dan shared uh, about the amazing flexibility that's coming up. And uh, after I'm done, Vin Sang is going to talk a little bit more about the, the nuts and bolts. Uh, but I thought I would start with uh, our company purpose. Uh, as you know now, we've been around for 25 years. And foundational to our purpose is knowledge is human right. We wanted to make available, affordable, and accessible for all. And uh, Traditionally, the, the biggest challenge with XR, everyone, when we started uh, 25 years ago, and you had to explain what XR really was, no one had seen it. Once they saw it, they said, oh, this is great. This can help us tremendously. But I need uh, 100 or 1,000 or 10,000 or all the applications, whether it's learning or industry. 
that was always a challenge. And of course, with the progression of uh, ENXR and adding AI to help speed up the development, uh, we're going to be there very, very soon, which is super exciting. Uh, we talk about cognitive AI architecture, uh, spatial AR, <laughs> geoposition, where you now can annotate not just a virtual object, but the real world uh, with persistent anchoring, AI image recognition, you can do LiDAR scans to create your digital twin, you can of course connect with multi-user, uh, and maybe most importantly, we have a big focus on mobile devices, because that's what 99% of the users have. As the headsets progress and so forth, uh, we'll, we'll support and, and see more use of that as well. There's a large asset library, uh, millions of assets, and of course with AI we can turn those into experience and lessons, whether it's for education, edutainment, or enterprise very quickly. And then the language models. So, uh, what you saw in these videos is that you can start uh, creating in direct AR mode, and you have three options. You can either create, explore, or use a library, depending on what your interest is. Uh, you see the knowledge portals uh, created in, in progressive work, and of course you can, as a teacher, if you want to control, you can edit those and, and select exactly what you want. You can auto-generate sub-component knowledge portals. Uh, so if you remember the, the uh, chip example that, that Dan showed that popped up like 10 sub-components. <coughs> uh, you can also create your annotations either using AI image recognition, voice, uh, or AI. You can do a show and tell, and John and Reen are going to show this uh, live here after we're done. Uh, the prompts can help you create guided node creation. Uh, and of course, much more uh, poses, interactions with the avatars, uh, and so forth. So there's a lot of things uh, that's coming up in this release that we're making available today that you saw in the videos. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the structure, and, and Dan shared a little bit of this uh, already, we have the, the create mode, and uh, uh, you can still go Freestyle, non-scripted, if you want to create your own experience. Uh, or you can use the prompts, which will help you speed up tremendously, uh, whether you're in, in uh, again, education, enterprise, entertainment. And then you can go to show and tell, which we'll see an example of, or guide and assist, depending on what your needs are. And if you are not the creator, you can go directly to explore. You just start up the app and say, okay, where do we want to go today? And you kind of explore it that way. And you can quickly go from, from many different experiences as we saw in one video. And this ties with guidance Assist. Or, if you're just a, a consumer of uh, learning, for instance, you can go directly to the library and pull up your education experience. And of course, this connects also with our marketplace, uh, where we have uh, great partners that are starting to contribute some amazing experiences there as well.